Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. So last week I filmed what's on my Christmas list and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my Christmas gift guide for 2023. So I did the same kind of video last year and it, I'm not going to lie, it didn't do super well, but we're going to give it another go. So if you guys are interested in like things that I think are good gift ideas, then just keep watching this video. So obviously everyone's different and you want to be able to get someone a gift that's unique to them and their personality, but sometimes you're just really struggling with what to get someone. So I've got some like general ideas for you guys. The first thing I'm going to talk about, you guys probably already know. I think this is fun for all ages and if you know someone who likes to be challenged, likes puzzle games, the canoodle okay i'm telling you guys the canoodle so this has been so much fun for me and i love taking it with me and playing it with people i've gotten several other people to like play with it um and i may have bought it for a couple people for christmas but like this has been hours i'm not even kidding you hours of fun and this tiny little like i took this to florida when alex and i went i took it on the plane i played it on the plane had to explain it to the guy that was sitting next to us but, like, this game doesn't, it looks like it's just, you know, nothing fun. But it is so fun. And they have different versions. This one's the Canoodle Extreme. This one has, I don't really know how to describe it to you, but it has, like, a slide puzzle. So, this is what the Canoodle Extreme looks like. But it has a puzzle where you, like, slide this and the puzzle gets harder because you have to add more pieces as you go. But if you know someone who likes a challenge, likes puzzle games these are so good they're really affordable i'd say i think most of the canoodle games are under twenty dollars i also have head to head and that one may have been a little bit more pricey but like i'm telling you guys this is such a good gift it's such an affordable good gift the next thing is another game idea because like games are such a good idea i think i got quite a few games actually this year for people and so i'm not going to talk about all those games but i will mention what i forgot to mention in my previous video something on my wish list are these book games i'm going to show them to you guys right now i saw them on tiktok and they are so cute and i actually found out that alex's sister has one and it looks adorable set up in her living room they're your classic board games but they're made to look like books so you can like have them on your shelves and you know i'm not gonna lie i i love games i have a lot of games but game storage is just not fun <laughs> i mean i have some ideas for like where i want to store all of my board games and you know, some people have places they can put them, and then some people don't have as much room to store all of these games. So these book games are, like, so fun because not only can you just store them away and they look so nice, like, on a shelf together, and then you can just pull them out whenever you want to play, and it's very, like, confined, you know, it's not like a big box. Like, specific ones that come to mind that would originally have, like, really big boxes, like Candyland, Monopoly, Sorry. Those are all games that have very big boxes. And that's not fun. Like, where are you storing all those big boxes? These are such little compact things, but with still full-size games inside them. That's just a great gift. Like, it's something that's easy to store, and it looks aesthetically pleasing, and it's fun. I'm just way more into games than I used to be. Uh, something else that I think kind of could go for anyone also of like any age, um, leisure wear. Okay, I'm currently wearing another onesie. Um, I bought two onesies, two <laughs> onesies this year for Christmas because they're comfortable and I love them. Uh, this one is from Tipsy Elves. I will show you guys at the end <laughs> something that's weird about this if you didn't see it on my TikTok. There's a little bit of a weird thing with this specific onesie. It's very comfortable. And this brand specifically, so we got two pockets here, but then it also has pockets here. So you have, you know, four pockets in the front, which I think is so handy. Um, and not necessarily onesies, but like leisure wear in general. 
you know, maybe you have someone who prefers like an oversized tee and sweatpants, you know, you can easily find them an oversized tee and sweatpants. And if you're getting someone sweatpants this year, I highly recommend Goose and Gander. I know this video is going to be coming out like a little late for international shipping. Um, and it may not get to you in time, but if you're having like a later Christmas get together or like you can have it shipped directly to someone's house, then maybe. Um, but Goose and Gander sweatpants have changed my life. <laughs> I love them. I have three pairs of Goose and Gander sweatpants. I live in them. When I'm not living in this, I live in those. And like, you know, to add on to the leisure wear, hoodies, sweatshirts, people love those, especially in winter time. Um, socks. Socks are always a good gift, as well as slippers and just, you know, things to keep people cozy and warm. Those are great gifts. Moving on. Something else that I don't have yet, and I'm gonna say it again this year, is a coffee warmer. I've given coffee warmers as gifts. I think they're a great gift for your average coffee lover, um, or even tea, if someone likes coffee or tea. If they drink a warm beverage out of a mug on a regular basis, they would probably appreciate a coffee warmer, especially if they, you know, like how I sit for hours and do my nails. If they sit for hours doing something like doing work or, you know, maybe they like to sit and read or, you know, anything like that. If there's a time where they're going to be, you know, kind of sitting for hours of their day drinking their coffee, they would probably love to have a coffee warmer because it would keep their coffee warm for them, especially if they're like me, like I love to use a lot of creamer, so I'm not even gonna lie, my coffee gets cold so fast because I use a lot of creamer and then my coffee is cold. Um, I think creamer is perfect, it's got, you know, the flavor, it's got the sugar, and then you put it into a hot cup of coffee and it gets it to just the right temperature to start drinking immediately, but it also cools off really fast. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep saying it, that is a great gift. Um, I stole that from Simply Nail Logical, but I don't care. She says it every year, and I'm going to say it every year because I can't imagine a better gift for a coffee drinker other than mugs, which mugs are also another wonderful thing. So, you know, if you're getting them a coffee warmer, you might as well get them another mug because if they love coffee, they probably have a mug addiction. It's just, it just happens. On to the smelly stuff. So, um... Last year, I would never would have imagined saying that perfume is a good gift because I myself was not a perfume girly, but I am now. I love perfume. I wear perfume several times throughout the week. I'm not an everyday perfume girly. I don't wear it to like work or anything um, unless I have a new perfume that I want to try out, then maybe. But almost any time I go out and I'm and I've put on an outfit to go out, I wear perfume. This one is my current favorite. This is Sweet Tooth by Sabrina Carpenter. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. You can imagine that it smells very sweet. I got this for my birthday this year and I have not been able to stop using it. It just smells so amazing. I'll put the notes somewhere here on the screen. I know, it's like sweet vanilla, but also it has that musk in it. And for me personally, a sweet perfume that has an undertone of musk is perfect. I love it. This is my second favorite perfume. This is, I did get this from Scentbird. It's pink sugar, the scent pink sugar. I'm not gonna lie, these, okay, these are not that similar in any way, shape, or form, but they're both very sweet. This one is definitely more sweet like candy, you know? But I feel like if you added a musk to this, you would pretty much get this. They're both very similar. This one I can actually show you. Can I? Maybe I can't. Well, it's below this point. I guess I can't really show you guys where I'm at because I can't really see it myself. But I know, I don't know, I'm down somewhere around here. And yes, I don't wear it every day, but like that's like so much perfume for me considering I was not even into perfumes like just a few months ago I'm loving it and a specific thing is if you already have a Scentbird subscription um 
which I would like to get mine back at some point when I feel like I can afford it. But if you already have a Scentbird subscription and you don't know what to get somebody, you can gift them a free month. And I know this sounds like an advertisement, but Scentbird probably is never gonna sponsor me. We'll see, maybe in the future. You can actually gift them a free month and I did that for my best friend, I did that for my mom, I did send one to my brother and sister, but I don't know if they actually end up using it. Like, it's literally free. They can pick whatever scent they want, and then they get it shipped to them. Now, they will get charged the next month if they don't cancel it in time, but... You know, what if they do end up liking the subscription and they want to try it again? My mom and my best friend both kept the subscription for a few months. Um, and my mom kept it for way longer than I thought she would. She actually really enjoyed it and already repurchased a full-size perfume of one of the perfumes that she got. So, like, that's such a good gift. Honestly, like, if you already have Scentford, I think you can get up to three a month. And if you don't have a lot of money to be gifting people things, but you do have that subscription, then you can send them a free month and they can pick whatever perfume, cologne, whatever they want. They can pick it for themselves. So I think that's really cool because, you know, especially if they've never tried it before and this is all new to them, if they like perfume or cologne, a whole month's supply of a perfume or cologne, and if they're like me and they don't wear it every single day, then it's going to last them way longer than that. So I think that's a great idea. Uh, the next thing I'm going to continue to tell you every single year are candles. Just candles. They don't even have to be like, you know, seasonally scented. Just candles, okay? If someone likes nice smelling things, they probably like candles. So this one is Spiced Bourbon Cider. Um, based on the sticker, I'm going to guess I got it at Dollar General. It smells wonderful. I don't know. It smells like, well, it smells like what you'd imagine, like warm apple cider with like cinnamon. Uh, it's very like warm, nice smelling. I've been lighting this one a lot until the other day I got this one. This one is sweet potato pie, it's sweet potato maple and vanilla bean. Oh my gosh, this one smells so good. I got this one at Walmart. It's so good. I've already, like, I have only had it for, like, two days. It's so good. I've literally, I've literally, like, used so much of it already. I don't know. This one's so different. It doesn't have any cinnamon in it. So it's, like, a very different, this one's definitely a little bit more fall, probably, probably because, like, the maple. But, like, I think this one still works for both, like, for Christmas and for fall. And honestly, just, like, year-round because, like, it just smells amazing. It smells... When you have it lit, I feel like it smells like somebody's, like, baking in their house, and it's just a nice smell. I don't really need more candles, but, like, if someone gives me a candle, I'm not gonna be mad about it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so I think that's pretty much all I have. Uh, I have a nice little list written down here. So I have this list that I wrote at work, but then at the bottom, I wrote down what was supposed to go on my to-do list, which was not cooking dinner on Saturday. I was supposed to remember to tell Alex that, which I did. But, like, that was supposed to go on my to-do list, and it made it onto my gift guide list. Anyway, <laughs> too many lists. That's another thing. If you want to get somebody a little notebook for all their lists, I have received those as gifts many times, and I quite enjoy getting little, like, notebooks and stuff for all my lists. Um, especially if it's, like, a little bit smaller, so I can have it for my shopping list. Mine's almost empty, and I have another one that I'm going to use. I so many notebooks for all my lists. Anyway, I think that is all for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it's helpful. I am sorry that it's going to be coming out like only two weeks before Christmas. Um, not even that. It's going to be less than two weeks before Christmas. And I'm really sorry. Um, a lot of these things you can buy in stores though. You know, you can buy leisure wear, you can buy games, you can buy perfumes, candles, um, Canoodle I don't think you can buy in store, but it is available on Amazon, and I will link as many of these products as I can down below, um, and all the Amazon links are affiliate links, so I can earn a small commission if you shop those links. I hope this was helpful, um, and really just, sometimes you just gotta ask people what they want for Christmas if you don't have any idea, and sometimes they won't tell you. So... Good luck. Good luck with all of your Christmas shopping, and um, there should be, 
I would say one more video out before Christmas. I'm not sure what it's gonna be, so let me know if there's something specific you want to see. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel while you're here. I would greatly appreciate that. I post new videos every single week, usually on Wednesdays or Thursdays, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!